I started cooking as a kid. I remember when I was four years old in the kitchen with my grandmother baking cookies, sitting at the end of the counter, pressing peanut butter cookies with a fork. Um, as a little kid, my grandmother gave me things like sardines in a can, uh, jardinered pickled vegetables, um, lamb chops, veal chops. I liked onions as a kid. Um, so by the time I was 12 years old, I was already making uh, full dinners uh, for my family. I wanted to go to college for business. Um, and when I was 15 years old, as soon as I can get a job, uh, I got a dishwashing job. Uh, and then I was captivated by what the cooks were doing on the line, and I just fell in love with it. I was promoted shortly, um, three months to being a prep cook, and then three weeks later I was a line cook at 15 years old, still in high school. Um, but I found something that I was really good at, and I was able to, um, you know, prioritize all these tickets and things like that and balance it all out in my head. Uh, and I was just really good at it. And I've always had a love for food, so I continue just to grow and to grow and to get better. Uh, working in Napa, like places like Silverado Country Club was like going to culinary school for me. Uh, we had four different restaurants there. We had a banquet and catering facility, uh, multiple chefs everywhere. Um, yeah, and then I just, so prior to Silverado, I was probably a short order cook. But when I left the Silverado, I was actually like a fine dining cook. And then I never looked back since then. Stayed in Napa for a long time. Um, worked in Oakland, Berkeley, San Francisco for a long time. Um, my favorite flavors to cook with are Asian. Uh, I was the chef for Yoshi's in San Francisco um, for a while. Uh, Pan-Asian Japanese style cuisine. Uh, so in my meals, you'll see a lot of Asian influences. Uh, you'll see the garlic, the ginger, cilantro, uh, sesame oil, those type of uh, flavors. They're some of the, um, the flavors that I most like to eat. Um, what else? Um, but yeah, uh, for, for me, food is just, a, it's an interpretation about you know how I'm feeling at, at that time or any memories that I had with food as a kid. Um, I mean, I can get inspired by spring is coming, so I got uh, fava beans, I got all kinds of mushrooms. Uh, what else is available? Fiddlehead ferns, asparagus, all those type of ingredients. That inspires me. So basically, I look at the dish uh, and I think of ways um, new recipe ideals that are signature to me from these dishes. Maybe grilled asparagus with burrata cheese and fried uh, duck uh, prosciutto uh, with crushed pistachios, extra virgin olive oil, and balsamic reduction. Dishes like that. Um, <laughs> or chili and sea bass with fava bean puree, chanterelle mushrooms, pancetta, maybe yuzu tarragon vinaigrette it, it's just about my moods and how i like to eat um but yeah i can do um steakhouses modern american steakhouses uh, i'm very good at doing that too um i know a lot about beef um it just it's all about moods uh, being here at the Marriott, I had a uh, different uh, marching orders. I was told to, uh, they wanted to make it a steak seafood concept. They didn't tell me what to do or how to do it. They just, this is what we want, um, and that's what we did. Uh, we have all type of different seafood dishes on the menu. Uh, five different uh, cuts of steak. We have Wagyu, we have Greater Omaha Prime. Uh, certified Angus beef. We have local Schmidt's Reg beef. So there's a nice variety uh, there for everybody. Uh, and you're free to come up with the dishes yourself. You create the dishes, yes, all the ingredients. They yes. give you a lot of uh, latitude. Yes, and I really appreciate that. And I wouldn't have it any other way um, because it's a um, being a chef is a, an interpretation for me. Uh, Kind of like Leonardo da Vinci. Nobody tells Leonardo da Vinci what to paint. 
they have this canvas. If you give me the canvas, I'll write, I'll make the painting for you. Um, but yeah.